Becky here and welcome back to Comedy Cat Creations. So today I'm super excited to announce that this is the first episode in a new little mini-series I'm doing on my channel where each episode is going to feature a basic wardrobe essential. So I'm starting off with like the most perfect basic wardrobe essential which is the t-shirt. And you can make it fitted like I did or you can make it loose, long sleeve or short sleeve, a classic white tee or a fun pattern like this tie-dye knit. The possibilities are endless and this is going to be a really easy DIY and I just really hope y'all enjoy this series and let's get sewing. For this shirt, I used about a yard of a stretchy knit fabric, although you may want to get more if you want longer sleeves or a much larger size. Grab a well-fitting shirt with sleeves to use as a template and begin by folding the sleeves in along that curved seam where the sleeve and armhole are joined. So start by folding one sleeve in and adjust the edge so that you can see the shape of that curved seam, then fold the other sleeve in, and now you see the shape of the bodice which looks like a tank top. Pin a few times along those curves just to keep the shape in place, then fold the shirt in half along the center, and this is our template. Fold a section of your fabric over large enough to fit your shirt and make sure that your fabric will stretch in the direction I have the arrows going, which is perpendicular to the fold, so that you can get your new shirt on and off easily. Lay the shirt template onto your fabric so that the center fold of the shirt lines up with the fold of your fabric and pin it into place. Start cutting your shirt out along the neckline and continue along the shoulder, armhole, and side and make sure to cut a half inch larger than your shirt on all of the edges to allow for seams. Now if you want your shirt to fit looser than your template, cut as many inches as desired outside of the shirt template and if you want it to be fitted, cut just a half inch larger. I wanted mine just slightly larger so I cut an inch wider than my shirt. Cut the bottom edge about an inch lower than your desired shirt length, then remove the template and unfold your fabric and you'll have your first bodice piece, so use it as a guide to cut out a second identical bodice piece. I wanted the front neckline to be lower than the back, so I cut one of the necklines down at this point. Lay one of your bodice pieces with the correct side of the fabric facing up, then lay the other piece on top so that the correct sides are facing together. Pin and sew along the shoulders and sides with a half inch seam allowance and since we're using a stretch fabric you'll want to use a ballpoint needle and sew with either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch so that your seams will stretch when you stretch the fabric. I'm sewing with this triple straight stretch stitch which is super easy to use and make sure to back stitch at the beginning and end of all your seams. You can see here how a stretch or a zigzag stitch allows the seam to stretch with the fabric and at this point you can try on your top and if you need to you can make any adjustments. I decided to trim the bottom edge knowing that after I hem it it'll be about an inch shorter. Lay your shirt template so that the sleeve is totally flattened out where this top straight edge is the folded edge of your sleeve. This curved seam is where the sleeve and armhole are sewn together and this bottom edge is the seam where the sleeve is sewn together. We're going to trace this shape to make a sleeve pattern so lay a see-through piece of paper like tracing paper or tissue paper down so that the straight edge lines up with the folded edge of your sleeve. Begin tracing out the shape of that curved seam which looks kind of like half of a bell shape. Then you'll want to trace along this straight seam of the sleeve and finally make a line at your desired sleeve length. I wanted short sleeves but you could definitely make yours long sleeved. Make sure to mark on your pattern where the fold of your sleeve was too. Use your tape measure to add marks a half inch extra around all of the sides of your sleeve pattern that you drew so that you'll have seam allowance. Then connect the lines and cut out your shape and this is your sleeve pattern which was so easy to make. Fold a portion of your remaining fabric over, again making sure the stretch runs in the direction I have the arrows going, and lay your sleeve pattern down so that the edge you marked fold lines up with the fold of your fabric. Pin it down and cut out the sleeve, and when you remove the pattern and unfold the sleeve it should look something like this. Then cut out a second identical sleeve. Fold your sleeve in half with correct sides facing together and pin and sew along the straight edge with the same stitch you used earlier. Repeat with the second sleeve. Turn them right side out and use a pin to mark this top center point at the curve of each sleeve. This will represent the point on the sleeve that sits at your shoulder and it helps to have this point marked in a moment. To attach the pieces together, make sure the bodice is inside out and the sleeves are right side out. 
Turn the sleeve so that the bottom edge of the sleeve is facing toward your shirt and slide it in through the armhole. Then line up the pin on the sleeve to the shoulder seam of the bodice and pin them together so that the correct sides of the fabric are facing together. And make sure to open up and flatten out the seam allowance of the shoulder seam so that it lays flat when you pin it. Then line up the armpit seams of both your sleeve and your bodice and pin them together too, again flattening out the seam allowances first. You'll also want to line up and pin together the sleeve and bodice in smaller increments around the entire armhole, and once it's all pinned, you'll sew to attach the pieces together using the same stretch or zigzag stitch. Attach the second sleeve in the same way, and you can try it on again to make sure everything is to your liking. I decided to trim my neckline down a bit more, and I also trim the sleeves so that once I hem them about a half inch shorter, they'll be the length I want. Turn your shirt inside out to hem the neckline, and I'm starting at the back of the neck. To hem it, fold the raw edge over about a quarter of an inch, then fold it again another quarter inch so that the raw edge is now hidden, and pin it into place. Continue double folding and pinning the hem, and make sure to open up and flatten out the seam allowance before double folding when you get to the shoulder seams so that the hem lays flat. Continue double folding and pinning all the way around the front of the shirt, and once it's all been pinned, sew the hem into place. You'll still want to use a stretch stitch or zigzag stitch for this, but this time I chose a decorative stretch stitch to add a nice detail, and because it's a little bit wider of a stitch, it really helped to keep the hem nice and flat. Take your time as you sew around the curves, and try not to pull on the fabric too much, just guide it through the machine. Here you can see the decorative stitch I used and how it created a nice neat hem. Hem your sleeve exactly the same way by double folding, pinning, and sewing the hem into place, then repeat with the opposite sleeve. And now all you need to do is hem the bottom of the shirt. And for this, I actually double folded the bottom edge over about a half inch once, then a half inch again, instead of a quarter inch at a time, because lots of t-shirts have a thicker bottom hem, and I wanted to mimic that look. Once I got it all pinned, I just sewed the hem down with the same stitch, and that's all it takes to make a super cute and simple t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see y'all in a video soon. Bye. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Blah, 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 blah. If you have any questions, let me go. Let me go. Whoops. You're in. Oh, crap, I forgot what I was going to say.